hey guys today we're going to be making a customized afro wig this is not my girl's hair by the way this is an afro wig a very natural looking afro wig so i'm going to be taking you guys through the steps that i follow to make an afro wig like this stay tuned and keep watching Welcome back to my channel you guys, it's Eva Ogban here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for yet another video. If you're a new subscriber, kindly keep watching this video, I hope you like what you see. Don't forget to tap the subscribe button and also the bell beside to be notified whenever I post new content. Afro wigs are one of my favorite things to make because they look so natural and I can wear them as a protective style just like any other wig if I don't want to wear my hair out. So I'm going to show you guys how I make one of those wigs and today I'm going to be making a brown afro wig. The first thing you saw me do was set up my mannequin head and then I'm putting the wig cap that I'm going to use to make the wig over the mannequin head. So I'm using a mesh wig cap. It's not close up but there are little holes through which I can pass a crochet pin in this wig cap. It's not the regular wig cap that is smooth all over. So there are two different types of wig cap you can use to make a crochet wig. The first one is one with really small holes and the second type has really big holes. I couldn't find the other one with big holes so i had to settle for this one with smaller holes which looks almost like a mosquito net so after the wig cap these are some of the other tools that i'm going to be working with the crochet pin the pair of scissors and i have some hair grease here which i'm going to be applying to my extensions before i start to crochet And last but not least, I have my extensions here. I'm using some kinky extensions. Any brand of kinky extensions you find is going to be fine if you decide to try this out. I'm using some kinky extensions. These ones are brown. So I start by counting the number of pieces of the kinky extensions. Now the way that they come in the pack, they usually come in clusters. So I'm just counting the clusters to find out how many there are. And for one pack that I got, there were 22 clusters of kinky extensions so i usually calculate how many pieces or clusters of kinky extensions i have that will help me determine how many packs of kinky hair i need to make one wig so for this particular wig i ended up using two packs of the kinky hair and then two extra clusters to give me the volume that i wanted so I calculated the number of clusters in the entire pack and then I calculated how many clusters I was going to need for each divided section of my wig cap. If you look at my wig cap, you're going to see that there are two straight lines running from the eyebrows of the mannequin head to the back. So that's three portions of mesh on the wig cap. So I just calculated how many clusters I was going to need and then I started to crochet my wig. Now for the length that my client wanted, she didn't want it really long, she wanted something that was medium length not too short but not too long so for the wigs that i make i have three lengths i have the short or regular length afro wig i have the medium length which is what she requested and then i have the long one which if you pull out the hair or stretch it out it gets all the way to your waist so here you can see me simply parting the extensions to make the crocheting process easy for me and as i'm cutting off these extensions i'm able to cut them because i knew the length that my client wanted and even if i cut it i wasn't going to cut too much such that it was going to be shorter than she wanted now these are all the pieces of the extension that i have separated and once i was able to separate all of them like this i just went ahead to crochet this saved me some time and i was able to crochet faster
You're chilling when the rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me a good night You whip up my appetite Don't leave me in So I'm finally done with the wigging and I had to put it on my girl's head here to see exactly what it looked like on a human being. Thankfully she was around and I just went ahead to test the wig. So I was actually glad with the way the wig came out. I like the texture. I like the way the hair was looking clustered up like this is my kind of wig, my kind of vibe. But once I put it on her head, I was able to see that there were gaps in the wig cap which were quite visible. So I was just trying to pick it out here and then just close up those gaps. I didn't use a pick comb on the wig at this point i just wanted to put it on her head see what it looks like and then trim off all of the excesses and give the wig some sort of shape you know create some bangs and just make it look better than it's looking right now And I'm almost done with the trimming. Here we're still pointing out that there were some gaps which I went ahead to fill with more hair. That's where the extra two clusters of kinky hair came in. But at the end of the day, this is what the wig was looking like. Guys, I love this wig so much. And I'm going to make it available on my Instagram for orders to be coming in. So this is what the wig was looking like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.